Hello guys, my name is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, today, I promised you guys we'll be doing something a bit more uh, exciting than just hunting down watchtowers. So uh, we'll actually be going for solving this fallen power line here. Uh, we need one metal beam and two concrete blocks. Uh, usually, um, if we're we'll be looking at this mountain bridge here, they need them in a certain order, like you need the metal beams for the structure and then you need the concrete blocks, so you can't exactly uh, drop them off at, well, you can at the same time, but you can't drop the concrete blocks before the metal beams. But within the context of this fallen power line, I can drop all of them. I'm not exactly sure how many slots each of these use. I'm still a bit fuzzy on slots because I think like two concrete blocks is one trailer, but one metal beams is one trailer again. Uh, so we're just going to be taking our, uh, our, where's the thing? Yeah, our fleet star. Uh, we're going to be jamming, actually, let's see how expensive it is. Uh, frame add-ons. <sighs> wow, a flatbed is pretty expensive. Well, I think I could take a trailer if I would really want to. Mm. Yeah, you know what? No, let's just go for the short shot. Uh, let's take our GMC. I think we have all the upgrades we can and need. Can we upgrade anything? No, we upgraded the engine. Yeah. I remember getting something for this. Yeah, the race suspension, right? So this is already upgraded as much as I can. Actually, let's do the let's see if we have a bit better color for this what does this truck feel like purple no blue you know what let's do some very deep white yeah that looks good okay let's take this out and let's actually go for the warehouse first the warehouse over here for the concrete blocks two times. Okay. I kind of wish there were, there were a better route because I have to go through this uh, mucky terrain every time. Okay, that should be enough. And let's head out. used to um, the little Chevrolet Scouts, uh, two liters, one liter a second, sorry, a minute uh, usage. Okay, and seeing like six and seven seems ridiculous. And yeah, this mucky, muddy terrain is annoying. Um, okay, can we... Get ourselves out. Okay, there's something there we can use. Oh well, barely. Actually driving really deep in the mud here. Probably should have taken the other path, maybe? That sounds smart. I mean, for sure, when I head back, I'll not be using the same path, because I'll have even more weight on me.
um, I had a reticence in taking the trailers uh, because I've seen that uh, some of the trailers. Uh, well, that tree in the last one. <laughs> I've seen some of the trailers actually are required in like some missions, some of the early missions. And I didn't want to, you know, get them out of position or something. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I got far enough to use that anchor point. Let's not crash that tree. A very vague feeling we'll be using that tree a lot more in the future. Just tap in this winch here. That poor little tree. Honestly, I think I really should just go around. I definitely don't think I have this. Hmm. I mean, okay, so what's the around option? It's the way. Actually, I can't even go around, right? I can take a right here. Return to road. I don't think uh, the mud kind of stopped at this point. I mean, the benefit of us having using the Fleet Star and trailer would have been that uh, the Fleet Star has all-wheel drive, which would get us through this easier. I mean, this is not this is a highway truck, not an off-road truck, as we can just plainly see. Some weird rear winching here. Okay. Um. Oh wow, this is even muckier on this side. It's totally not an option. I mean, there's a redirect here. Oh, easy on the map. There's a redirect here. Where was I? Yeah. But I doubt this is this would be any better, so we actually have to try and go up. Don't we? And I feel this would be a lot easier with a different truck. And again, I'm not even carrying any load right now. Damn. I'll go back, take the, take the Fleet Star, and pick up on the trailers. I mean, you see what I mean? Like, this first thing requires me taking, like, a curtain side trailer and taking it over there. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's let's do recovery. Let's try a different truck. For sure, that was not going to be working out, especially on that route. I mean, if we had done the mountain bridge, we had a different avenue. 
Or I can just... I, have, I think I have the money to actually pay for a flat bit on this. No, do I? No, I don't. Got even for sideboard bread. Uh, okay, I think I need a saddle low, right? For some traders. Okay, let's get this another shot. Wow, these are expensive. And actually, you know what? I don't really need... I don't really need a trailer, per se. I mean, like, one of these big flat bits. I just need, like, a regular trailer that I can just haul behind me. That should be enough. So, what do you mean I don't have enough money for a flat bit trailer? I do. It's 30... Oh, yeah, I think I have 31... 50, yeah, I need 38 for that, sheesh. Okay, let's just have a look, see what, which one of these... I think these needs to be done in order, right? Anyways, this needs the curtain side trailer, so if I don't use the curtain side trailer, I should be good, right? I can just use this flat bit trailer here, which... Honestly, already has some metal pipes on it. Okay. Okay, so that actually has some metal pipes on it. Uh, cool. So, foreign power line, metal beams. I can just deliver this as is right now. Well, I'm uncertain what this is. I mean, it shows I can pick up something here. Ramp flat, flat bed trailer. So I can take this from here if I want. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'll just deliver this. Let's do that instead. Let's uh, clear this out. Let's deliver the um, pipes. Metal beams, actually, sorry. That seems like a smarter option. And then I'll come back and pick up maybe this and use that to pick up the concrete blocks from the warehouse. That should be solid. And actually, <laughs> on the way back, let's hope I have the right uh, saddle mount. I'm unsure. If I need like a low and high, I think the high one is for super heavy duty things. Let's get back on the road. Let's not make this any harder than it should be. Entirely skimmed that. Never mind. <laughs> hey, he's still upright. That uh, signpost. Let's turn off all wheel drive. Don't really need it for this, especially not with this truck. So the game seems to be lagging just a tiny wee bit more than usual, but. Eh. There's definitely some issues with uh, the game's engine though, because um, it's not utilizing the entirety of my CPU or GPU. It's, uh, they're both sticking at about, I don't know, 60% uh, or something like that. So you'd expect there's more um, power to be used there, but apparently not. to drive. I mean, 
again, even that little section back there that we went through, that might have caused some issues with the highway trucks. I've been reading some of the subreddits, and the highway trucks isn't, aren't really... I mean, there are uses for them, but given that most of the terrain in the game is like this, and very rarely do you actually have smooth sailing straight roads, um, it just makes more sense to actually use off-road trucks or heavy trucks. through it. I think we're through it and back on the road. Oh, hey, max speed over here. That's miles per hour, 21 miles per hour. Okay, let's switch on all wheel drive because this is pretty mucky. And let's try to avoid that wall. Thing and road. You'd expect those to actually help you more because they provide better grip for your tires, but they're big enough of a distraction that you actually get stuck on them. But anyway, here we are at on power line to our right, I think. We actually have some space. Yeah, we do. Okay, cool. Break. Oh, wow. Actually, I just need to be a bit. Yeah, I think I just need to be with a truck. Oh. Okay. Good. Cargo management. Unload. For a second, I thought they needed specifically those metal uh, pipes from the other area. Okay, so now I need just two concrete thingy image mix. So I kind of wish I'd know how loading works, manual loading for cargo, but oh well. Okay, um. So we're doing farm power line, right? Right. Let's head back and see what this was all about before ha having to go all the way back and dealing with that little marshy section here. To get to the warehouse to pick up the concrete slabs. Hmm, but now I have to turn. And I don't really have much turning area here. Huh. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. Ok, 
Okay, thank god for the physics being just ever so slightly in my favor. Oh wow, this is double jointed. Uh, okay. Let's try and go forward. And let's try and head back straight. Uh, nope, I need to go like this. Okay, oh, too much, way too much. I'll have to reverse it like this? Yeah, I think I'll have to reverse it like this for a long, long stretch. Ugh. <sighs> do I have a better option? No, I really do not. Uh, do I have any options for... Yes, I actually do. Hmm. Not what I wanted, but sure. Uh, okay, let's try and get this slowly and smoothly. I mean, this is entirely terrible what I'm doing. It's horrible. But this actually gets us out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Actually, the worst thing would be if this uh, went over that railing. <laughs> Which is entire, entirely possible. Okay, too much. Let's straighten out a bit more. Not that I ever played a lot of uh, European Truck Simulator, but this gives me some flashbacks from that. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what? Let's try unhitching the trailer. And let's try... Because I think I have the option of... Oh, oh, oh. Let's not get the truck stuck on that concrete barrier, but I think I have the option of going up. Actually, yeah, just um, getting the truck out on its own and then uh, grappling it from the other side, grappling the trailer hitch from the other side. But that means I still have to get this truck turned around. It. Yay to me. Can I stop smacking it on concrete barriers? That'd be fantastic. Hmm. Let's try doing something horrible. Oh gosh, that was entirely terrible. Oh, I'm the hor most horrible off-road cargo management dude in the area. Okay, attach trailer, but if it works, it works. So we're good to go. Oh man, already? Come on. I mean, if that uh, trailer that we're supposed to be picking from the farm is even bigger than I expect, then, you know, bigger than this, or I'm, it looks bigger than this. Uh, I think I'll just not and keep using this. Still, it's funny how uh, everyone is like so sharing in this area. You can just pick up your trailers for free and just do your stuff with it. I mean, yeah, I get it, it's like a small community and all that, but still. Maybe the guy needed that trailer for that day for something. I know, picking up some logs from the woods or whatever the hell you do with uh, ginormous trailers on your property. Come on, let's get through this. I can't wait until I'm uh, level 4. I think level, no, sorry, level 6. I'm at level 3 right now, with almost a bit into 4. Um, because I'll be able to get uh, those better tires. 
Okay, so... Oh, is that... Is that concrete? Is that concrete? Huh. Let's, uh... Actually, let's... If we're gonna be doing that, let's do that a bit smart. I don't want to leave this trailer smack dab in the road. So let's go like this. Let's... Uh, leave it here, which I actually make it entirely terrible for me if I come back and want to actually reuse this trailer. But is that concrete? Is that concrete? That looks like concrete to me. Huh, okay, cool. I'm not sure if I should actually be using these preset resources. Like this? Or I don't know, if they respawn or something? I don't know. Either way, that trailer, if it makes my job a bit easier, especially, you know, starting out right now, I'm going to be using all the advantages I can. Oh, going from uh, big to bigger. <laughs> um, I was gonna ask if my parking brake is on, but apparently it's not. And I think, are these like one, two, three, are these four loads of concrete right here? I think these are four loads of concrete. Uh, okay, let's go low range, let's activate the differential lock, and let's see if we can actually... Nope, I am very doubtful I actually have the juice to pull this. Huh. Hmm. Or, I mean, is this stuck in mud? It doesn't look to be stuck in mud. Okay, let's just do a, a quick... Cool. Oh, actually, yeah, it was stuck a bit. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm doubtful. I'm kind of doubtful. Hmm. You know, I'm wondering whether I should come here with like a crane and grab things from that and put it on the other thing. Actually, let's check. Uh, yeah, I have unpacked cargo, so I can technically unpack that and put it with the crane on the other thing. But uh, <laughs> well, I can actually come with another truck with a crane. But I don't think I. I think that costs money. I don't have any money to spend on uh, superfluous things. Should I just give it another shot? I mean, once I get past this and the little mucky road ahead, I should be good. Hopefully, when uh, after I unload the two concrete, it's be uh, a lot easier to pull, and I could get that to other concrete anywhere else. Wow, <laughs> I have a very vague feeling this isn't exactly the truck or the level which I should be pulling these extremely big, huge loads. I mean, right now I'm using all-wheel drive, I'm using differential lock on a low gear, and I'm barely squishing along. I'm actually thinking maybe I shouldn't have put that saddle on just to shave off a few hundred kilograms off of this load. Okay, actually, let's... Yeah, well, uh, I was vastly overestimating. Uh, am I getting some decent uh, speed in auto? I actually thought I needed that um, low gear more than I thought I needed it. Still, this is the mucky portion of the road and let's hope this doesn't cause us any issues. I said I hope this doesn't cause us any issues. Yeah, 
let's let's use the low range for this. Wow, actually, that should have helped more than it did, but it doesn't. Ah, there we go. Nope, not on that. There we go. Let's do like Spider-Man and grapple. Nope, not that. Nope, not that. Yep, that. Perfect. Well, I say perfect, but you know what I mean. I think it's safe to go into auto now. We're mostly through the muck. Yeah, we are. down here. Hmm, that's not looking very good, but I'm wading through. And okay, that's it. Let's go back to auto. I like that it automatically uh, removes the differential lock when you switch to auto. I think in... Actually, I made a mistake when I uh, said that mud tires was the first one. Spin tires was the first uh, iteration of this concept. Um, and in that one, if I'm not mistaken, you had like an option to use an advanced gearbox. And basically, it don't allow you to go back to auto if you had differential lock on in a low gear and you didn't have it available for the uh, auto high gears. Okay, let's park and break it. Park and break, I said. Cargo management. Unload. Okay, there you go. That was a thousand something cash and 200 XP. About time, if only we had more folks like you willing to take the initiative. We'll take it from here. I mean, calling your service again soon. See you around. You know, they're acting like this was free. <laughs> well, I guess in a land where uh, fuel and repairs are free. Uh, this is initiative. Okay, uh, if I'm right, I should only have two more. Yep, that should be a lighter load. Um, let's look what we can do with this. Might as well if we have this. Uh, wooden planks, no. Mountain bridge needs concrete blocks. Uh, you know what I can do? Because I haven't unlocked this. I think this is a fuel station. Might as well take this load to the mountain bridge. I'm going to be doing the mountain bridge. And even if I do need the concrete blocks after I need the metal beams, I might as well have the two concrete blocks already here uh, by the time I actually need that. So uh, I still have a bit of time here. So let's do that. Let's clear this out. Go here, go here, go here, 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 here. Hopefully we'll unlock whatever that is. I think that's a fuel station. And yeah, let's do this. And is this any? Oh yeah, for sure this is lighter. Actually, I should probably be turning on all-wheel drive. The road is pretty solid because literally I've used half my fuel on uh, just getting that done. Oh, 
Oh, we're still in. Yeah, I've read something about that, about how the gearing uh, is used in um, SnowRunner. Basically, you can get, st well, not stuck, but we're, we're going on the fifth gear there, and we're not making bad progress, but it's a matter of how torque is applied and how, you know, each uh, gear works. Uh, sometimes it's just better to uh, crunch through that on a high gear, even though it makes entirely no sense. I'm just wondering if I'm getting a better speed with uh, low and differential lock on this. Uh, yeah, let's take a wide turn. I don't want to get that trailer stuck on pole. Station? I think this is indeed a fuel station. Free parking? I can't read it from here. Yeah, it's entirely fuel station. Um, I'm not gonna. Should I? I mean, it's on my route, might as well. Oh, it's uh, a task we can do here? Cool. Let's fuel this up. And let's head out. I mean, that missing container thing, I think that needs like two trucks or something. Well, not two trucks, but uh, a trailer, a crane, and well, ideally something that can take with the crane itself and also carrying the container with the trailer. So that's definitely something in the. Uh, future just because uh, I think again it, mm, the crane upgrades I mean I don't know I, I, for sure I th we've seen that they're separated by trucks so I'm not sure if I buy like crane upgrade for a truck if that translates to another truck we tried to do that with uh, winch but sadly we didn't have any other recon trucks um, But uh, for trailers, I think they're like universal, so I can just buy a trailer and it will work for whichever truck has the mounting points for it. progress here. And there we go. Okay, we can just leave this slightly to the side. So I have room to actually come with the other uh, load. Okay, something like this should be good. Actually, let's get it slightly more forward. Parking brake on. Does it put the parking brake on on the trailer as well? That'd be funny if uh, it didn't. Uh, actually, let's do. Let's do. Yeah. Uh, show task. Accept the task. Uh, cargo management. Yeah, of course. I need to do it in turn. Good. So let's do V. Let's do. Not recover. Let's not recover. Dash trailer. And that activates the parking brake for it. Cool. And okay, um, we make good progress today. I think next time we'll be going and getting the metal beams. Right, we already have the concrete there, so we're getting the metal beams from that spot. Um, the road has been fine, I guess. I mean, this is mostly fine. There's a little muddy section here, which is annoying, but um, I'm not sure if I want to again risk it with a highway truck. Might. I think I'll just get this truck again and see how that goes. Actually, wow, this is a shortcut if I want to use it. If were I to actually 
uh, you have this wooden bridge up, that'd be a shortcut for this uh, section of the road here. Uh, just going through the muck. Huh, cool. Anyways, um, we'll see what we're going to be doing next time. But uh, again, thanks for joining me on uh, joining me on uh, SnowRunner. Uh, please like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff if you liked what I'm doing here. And that this was Cosmo signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.